fight coming up next. It's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills, if I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short. You got a pretty good jab. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Assassin! All right, group of rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, surround your corners, come out there. excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Rock him, suck him out of the shoot here. the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Oh, nice job there to land the knee strike to the body, again making great use of his length in this matchup. Big leg kick lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. 
right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And there comes the separation now. Able to check the high kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Real nice body kick land. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you got to be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh, nice. Punch over the top. He is all about that left kick to the body. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Hey, hey. Throws the right hand there. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Back to the body shots now. That one blocked. Single collar tie now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, tags him with that money left again. Caught the kick. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that dude. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this short. Never looked this good. Good jab. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. And all I can think of, better him than me. And that left hook landed on the button. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Knee strike there, interrupted by Lee. Lands a switch knee. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing all right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good stuff for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Beautiful strike. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Liver kick. 
Oh, collar tie. Nice one, two there. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off uh -huh. with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Nice straight punch. He's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Four fighters exchange in the pocket here. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they're fighting behind it real well. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Nice punch land to the spot. He gets to a spot, the tie punch. Then he starts to let the knee fall. Back and forth we go here! And they separate. Can't take many of those, you better check. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And they separate. All right, single collar time now. These guys are going at it. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Big punch land. Ooh. Leg kick. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, huge knee to the head. He could be in trouble here. Lands the right hand. Combinations here. Huge block there. An uppercut landed. Nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, round three coming up next. All right, let us now check out some of the action, DC, and what a display of body striking there in that previous round. I mean, the last time I saw this done at this level was Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica I. Body kick, body kick, body kick. Eventually look for him to go over the top to try to end the fight. Breathe, relax, slow that heart rate down. The 
it's okay. We expected this. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the Ready? action continues at a Ready? high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Big kick. Doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Got the single collar tie. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Big kick land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And they separate. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands he's the right. knee. Staying busy in the clinch to avoid a separation. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good punch. Just over three minutes to go in round three. How about that chin? Ooh, blocks the shot. Shades of DC against John Jones in the second meeting. I mean, great job of getting in close and throwing that up in front. Great angle. He's just going to stone right now. Oh, Jones. I love it. I hit him with a ton of mouthpiece came out. Mouthpiece went flying. We love you, John. It was one of my nicest and most fun moments. Well, you got to think he's going to enjoy watching this one back tomorrow morning. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and really a guy who has been a monster in the gym finally putting it together here in the office. Go home and admire your work. It doesn't take till the next morning. He's going back to the room right now to fire up the video to look at beauty in action. And he was the one causing all the action. Nice. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Just misses with the right. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done! <laughs> A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop this contest at 3 minutes, 28 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ruth the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.